Today's video is sponsored by absolutely nobody because I don't have enough subscribers to get a sponsorship. But y'all can fix that by subscribing to the channel, so do it. Yo, what's up everybody? Wait, what? Wait, what the fuck? Why do I look so tiny? Eh, I guess I can adjust this. Uh, I don't really have hands anymore, but wait, hold on. Let me check something right quick. Um, oh, thank God. My dick's still there. We're good. Now, at this point in time, I don't think there's anybody who should be a stranger to the Raimi Spider-Man movies. They were a big part of most of our childhoods. At least I know it was mine. I, I, I literally had every single movie, bro. It was a flex to have those DVDs when I was a kid. Fuck Netflix. Fuck Hulu. Fuck Disney Plus, man. The classics are way better. Unless either one of them niggas ever want to sponsor me in the future, in which case I take back everything I just said. But yeah, though, the Raimi movies definitely hold a special place in a lot of people's hearts. And part of what made me want to do this video in the first place is because I was recently re-watching the old movies, you know, for the nostalgia and all that. It's something that I do every now and again, because, you know, I'm the kind of person where whenever I re-watch a movie, I like to pay attention to really key details I didn't always notice at first. Now, in the midst of me doing this, I did find quite a few things that I really didn't like. And the number one thing being that I had completely forgotten just how much of a freaking pussy Raimi's Peter Parker was. Let's start off with exhibit number one, the beginning of the movie. Peter is literally trying to chase down his bus, and at first it probably made a lot of people assume that maybe he just missed it. But as it turns out, nope, his bus driver was intentionally driving off without it. Now I just gotta tell you the truth. Me personally, if a bus driver that I have would intentionally drive off and keep driving knowing that I'm trying to catch it, I'd feel like I'd let too much shit slide. Like it's one thing when the students is bullying you, because you know, they're teenagers, they're stupid, they got undeveloped brains, they don't know anything. But the bus driver, a fully grown man, actually feels comfortable enough to try this shit. And that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that even after he did that and he finally did stop, Peter just got on the bus and then he apologized to him. I'd have been like, bro, I know damn well you heard me while I was out there. Like, I got a right mind to smack the fuck out you, bro. And then to add insult to injury, literally everybody on the bus is just being a total dick to it. And this is one of the things that I always thought was really unrealistic about the movies. Like, like, listen, I wasn't a teenager in this time period, okay? It was made in like 2002, I think, so I was a... I was, I was like one at that time. So I don't know if this was the culture at the time to do the nerds just treat them like dog shit for no reason. Like he ain't bothering nobody. Like I'm just saying like he ain't did shit to nobody. He seems to be a pretty quiet kid overall. And these niggas are treating him like he killed the Jews or something. Even got this little nerdy girl talk about some don't even think about it. Bitch, so nobody wanna sit with yo Louise Nordoff looking ass, yo hot dog water with pigtails looking ass, skinny white version of modern day Velma looking ass. So calm it down with that ego. And then I don't know why this nigga trying to shake his head, no, like, bro, he can't even fit in that seat with you, you so fat. Some people are larger than life, but this nigga's more like larger than the, the, the fucking afterlife, man. Fucking fat motherfucker. Ooh. And then he gets tripped while looking at Mary Jane's tits. Side note, Peter, you you can't be staring at girls like this, bro. Like, this is what sexual assault allegations come from, man. You glance and then you look away. Now, fast forward, they end up going to some science lab where the scientists are experimenting on mutated spiders, which they call super spiders, which I don't even entirely understand why they would do that anyway. But you know what? We're getting sidetracked. We're here to focus on this nigga today. And this nigga is still getting messed with. Peter's trying to take a photo of the spiders for the school paper. And then this jackass decides to bump into him to fuck up his photo. I would have hit him in the head with the fucking camera and gave him brain damage. I don't even care. But Peter ain't like me. Which is why he just sat there. Harry tried to help, but really just ended up doing a whole lot of nothing. Like honestly, they should bully him too. Like, bruh, stay in a pussy ass nigga's place. If you're gonna talk about it, be about it. Don't just give him none of that. Leave him alone. But hey, it all ended up turning out for the best because Peter ended up getting bitten by the spider that gives him his powers and changes his life forever. Which up to interpretation could have either been for the better or the worse depending on how you look at his situation from this point on. 
And y'all already know what happens from this point on. He gets his powers, gets jacked. I think his dick got bigger. I don't know, he looked down to it. That's what I'm assuming this is about. Boy talking about a big change. Boy got that BWC. Now, you would think that with his new physique and strength, he would finally stop taking shit at school. But no, he did not. Now listen, I'm gonna give Flash the benefit of the doubt here because this is actually Peter's fault. Peter accidentally shoots a web because he's not used to his powers yet. It ends up hitting an empty tray, which I don't entirely understand why there's an empty tray just sitting there conveniently. Now, instead of doing this obvious thing and just taking your other hand and ripping the web off, he decides to sling it around the fucking cafeteria. Like, did you not think that if you did that, then you'd end up hitting somebody else with a tray? There's tons of people in there. Now, if Peter had just kept sitting down, didn't move anywhere, he could have played it off like it wasn't him. And then Flash wouldn't have really known who did it. But he pretty much gave himself away by rushing out of there as fast as he did. Because, literally, if Peter wasn't trying to get out of there so fast, Flash wouldn't have noticed him and then wouldn't have been able to pin him out. Once again, just being too scared. So, understandably so, Flash wants to fight him about this. Then Peter's talking about some whole, I don't want to fight you, Flash. Man, let me tell you right now. After seeing the growth spurt that I just had that morning, and the fact that I clearly got powers now, because I don't understand how superheroes never notice it when they have powers at first. Nigga, a web just came out of your hand. You will clearly have home court advantage right now. I would have been like, come on, let's get it. And let me tell you, the beatdown I would have gave him would have been brutal. Now, Peter did win the fight, but it doesn't really count in my opinion because he was afraid to do it. Now, I'm going to assume that this was like the turning point in Peter's personality because I noticed after this, he didn't really seem too afraid to fight anybody anymore. But he still don't get no points with me for that. If the only reason why you're not scared of fighting is because you know you got powers now, you're still a pussy. Because I bet you if he ever lost some powers, he would not want to fight nobody no more. Or at least he wouldn't have the same energy. At least this version of Peter Parker. You know, there's some other iterations where he's got a little bit of balls to him. But as always, these are my thoughts and I'd love to hear all of yours. Thank you to everybody who watched till the end of the video. Hit your boy with a quick subscribe and a like too because it helps me out with the algorithm. I'll probably be dropping some more Spider-Man videos soon so, you know, stay tuned for that. And if you want to see what I'm doing in my personal life, go hit up my Instagram and my Twitter. I try to be as consistent on there as I can. And I will see all of you next time. Xavier out. Bye.